conversation guys hope you guys have an awesome saturday <laughs> i'm contemplating going to the michigan game tonight i you know truth be told i've never ever gone to a march madness game i've excuse me conference tournaments but not the actual NCAA tournament i've always bet on it so I've, most of the times i've always been in vegas but um i want to talk about deontay wilder for a second i, I just want hopefully this video gets to him i'm gonna maybe it will maybe it won't by the time he leaves but I just want him and his team just to be careful, you know, because I'll just speak from personal experience. And I went to end up graduating from a Division three school. We used to set traps in the uh, it's only one hotel in Whittier. Right. It was the Hilton. I believe it was. It was the Radisson or the Hilton when I was at Whittier College. And um, <laughs> we used to set them up like with bad food and shit. So I can imagine just. And that's just topical. Like when you're in a hotel, they may give you bad food, but more importantly, be careful not to get set up. You understand what I'm saying? In terms of your peers, in terms of your stay clean. This is, I know, I know your uh, Deontay Wilder is a thorough person, but just this week, turn the other cheek. You understand what I'm saying? They're going to call you everything but your name. You know what I mean? They may call you nigga, they may call you monkey. They may even entice you. I know your brother's with you a lot of the times, and uh, he is your, he is without a doubt outside of your your, 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 your six kids now, probably your biggest fan, and your mom and dad. Uh, and uh, I know how much he protects you because I've actually had conversations with him. Uh, nothing memorable, but just high and by. But I can just feel the intensity in him when he speaks of reverence about you. But uh, just be careful this weekend. I mean, the week that you're you're there, this is a this is a if you decide to go but this is a monumentous position you could potentially put yourself in 20 million 15 20 million dollars and I'm not sure our pay-per-view goes but I should you may get it for a long time you, you know what I'm saying so and I definitely want you to get your money <laughs> along with those three other major belts so uh, uh, I, I, I just want to send out some positive energy I'm uncertain if you're going but if you do go, I know Sky Sports has you commentating on it. But be who you are. Love who you are. This is a big moment for um, you and your family. I remember when I bought my first property. And I could, and when I bought my first property, you can project yourself based off the, your current income, how your life is going to uh, how your life is going to change and or be better. And um, I just. Uh, I'm, I'm just excited for you um, and I really want you to, I'm, I'm literally like your big brother man I'm older than your ass I'm eight years older than you you need to listen to me <laughs> you might be the baddest motherfucker on the planet but I might be the wisest motherfucker on the planet but whoever believes they're the wisest person on the planet is a fool I just want I don't want that in the comment section but uh, uh, yeah I'm just pulling for you but I just want you and your team to be careful hey, man just be ultra careful um, dot your t's dot your i's and cross your t's and uh everything should bode well for you but I, I just know just based off of the energy that i'm getting through the youtube videos and the way uh anthony joshua is speaking the way eddie hearn is speaking that's pretty much the uh, the sentiment of his fans and they may be some overzealous fan that may put you in a compromising position and it may challenge your ability to restrain from reacting and uh, I just want you to know that even if you have to turn the other cheek this week, we understand we understand what you're in for the bigger picture. Like small example was when um, Conor McGregor slapped uh, him on the butt or slapped his slapped his hat, right? And um, Floyd actually told me, he says, "You think I was gonna ruin three hundred million dollars because he hit my hat? I'm not ruining this moment." I'm about to rob the bank, nigga. He didn't say nigga, but I'm about to rob the bank. <laughs> and uh, he said, this is the biggest robbery in the history of professional sports. And everyone felt for it. And he got his $300 million. And uh, I don't think this fight is an exact robbery, but, but I think that right hand you got poses more power than any right hand in professional sports. So, um, uh, so, so just be careful. Uh, turn the other cheek this week, and, and uh, your uh, this is for the win. And uh, I'm glad we live in a day and age where we can actually 
reach our target audience. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's such a beautiful thing. I'm uncertain if he's going to listen to it, but I know somebody in his team is going to listen to it. And I just want him to be just certain. You know what I mean? Just dot your I's and cross your T's. And uh, have a safe trip. I hope you get the Anthony Joshua fight. Hopefully it's a WWE moment where you've been, where y'all been tricking us the whole time. And the big announcement is uh, you're getting a fight April, August 26th at Barclay Center. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that's the ticket. I highly doubt it, but you know, that's just me wishing and hoping. Anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man. Be careful over there. I don't want no one to set you up. I've seen it. I've seen it on the news a hundred times and it's probably happened to my life a handful of times. So anyways, man, Barbershop Conversations, feel free to hit the subscribe button and uh, talk to you soon. Peace.